Hi everyone. Welcome to the video lesson course Introduction to MATLAB Software. This is our fourth video lesson. This video lesson teaches how to write for loops, if and else loops and while loops in MATLAB software. At first, let's discuss the basic format or syntax of entering a for loop. We can type it as for index equals some array of values. For example, we take some random numbers, let's say for i is equal to 1581247, some random numbers. Then we can ask to display them. So display command is disp within brackets i and type in to end the for loop. So we can see that the for loop sets the first number into the first iteration, second number to the second iteration and so on in the considered simple i matrix. So as we discussed in our first video lesson, we can use colon to mark a range. So we can type i is equal to 1 colon 10. That means the range between 1 and 10 and display i in the for loop. So this makes MATLAB will generate the array of 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 from 1 to 10. So similarly, we can go for even a larger range like i is equal to 1 colon 1000 or some number. So we can convert our range to an array to be used for any function. So that's how we can enter a for loop to call up some array of values in our coding. Next, let's see how to code the if and else loop. For this, let's take the example that we discussed in the previous video lesson. In that function, what we did was we asked MATLAB to select the even numbers from a bunch of numbers that we specified and mark the even numbers as 1 and other numbers or the odd numbers as 0. So we could do this with if statement 2, we can specify capital X is equal to 1 colon 10 the, within the range of 1 10 and then capital Y can be initialized as an array of zeros by capital Y is equal to zeros 1 10 so zeros command can be used for zero matrix we have discussed that previously. Then we enter a for loop calling up our created array. So let's type 4 i is equal to 1 to 10. Then add the if loop as if mod i of x, the mod will be based on 2 should be equal to 0. Then, if that happens, y i should be 1, else y i should be 0. So, we can type in that way. Then we can end the for loop and end the if loop. So we type n and n. Actually, in this simple example, we don't really need else because we have only two arguments. But for understanding, we included it so that we can write if loop for any other coding in MATLAB software. Okay, then let's call for y. 
so here we get the result as we required in the binary format so we can observe another interesting thing in MATLAB here if we want to show two things equal we can use equal equal mark so two equal marks as an example if we type two equals equals two which is a true uh, argument and it gives us as it is and let's type two equals equals five and it gives us the answer as mathematically wrong so it's clear that equals equals syntax can be used to define equalization of defined variables in our coding next let's discuss entering the while loop let's say we want to find an element within a matrix so let's take the same matrix X which contains numbers from 1 to 10 if we want to find 6 in this matrix we can use while loop for that so we can set a variable as detect is equal to 0 for false statement then we can enter the while loop as i is equal to 0 while if not found so we use still design to mention that and i is equal to i plus 1 if i of x equals to 6 display detected and detect 1 for true statement then end the if loop and while loop so then we call for i so we can see it prints out detected and quit the while loop after reaching to 6 which is the desired value we have specified in our while loop so these are the simple ways of using for if and while loops when we want to develop algorithms to more complex functions we may have to use extensively these loops but in comparison to other programming languages like let's say python uh, matlab is a little bit inefficient in loops so we should avoid loops if it's not essentially required in our codings in this lesson we discussed how to write for loops if and else loops and while loops in MATLAB coding we took a very simple example to understand how these loops work in MATLAB software based on these simple understandings we can use for if and while loops for future codings in MATLAB software for more complex functions in the next video lesson, let's discuss how to solve differential equations in MATLAB software. So until we meet with our next lesson, have a nice day and goodbye.